Welcome well, back. Yeah, the Prince and Princess of Wales are entertaining a visit down under. We are so excited, we just wanted to get into it. Mm. Set for a tour right across the Commonwealth in a bid to protect countries appearing to break away from the monarchy. Who would that be? Nine Honey Royal reporter Natalie Oliveri is here with all the details. Good morning, Nat. Uh, what do we know about this? Is it happening? Are they Look, coming to us? We're, we're hoping so, Sylvia. No confirmation from the palace as yet. But, look, I actually spoke to Prince William in May, just days before the coronation, oh, and no. I asked him, when are you coming to Australia? And his words were, very soon. And he said they'll be bringing the family. We hope to be back very soon. Look, it's been nine years since Prince William and Catherine came to Australia. Then they brought Prince George, who was around nine months old at the time, in 2014. We are well overdue for a royal tour. Look, hopefully we'll be hearing something from the palace soon. Prince William's actually going to be in Singapore in November for the Earthshot Prize Awards. Now, there's been two of those in previous years. Kate's joined him for both, so we're hoping that she will be in Singapore too. It's not that far away from Australia, mm, so it right. does make sense that they could they tack on, on a bit but of But the time reputation here. needs help, doesn't it? There's a, the last yeah. time they toured, they went through other islands in the Commonwealth. That didn't go well, so they really need a good vibe going on here they in Australia. They do. So you're talking about the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last year, uh, the royal family members were sort of dispatched to uh, Commonwealth countries. Australia missed out entirely. So we are well and truly overdue for a visit. Support for the monarchy here is sort of dwindling a little because, because you know, King Charles's face won't be on the $5 note. There was all that controversy about, you know, the Opera House not celebrating the coronation. So they certainly do need to drum up support in Australia. Sending the Wales family here, especially with their children, will be that huge PR boost that they need. So certainly it, it should happen. The King and Queen aren't expected to come until October next year. So that's a long way away. I think they need to do something in the meantime. Mm. Sending Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Princess Louis, that's all what we want to see, right? Yeah. Well, we saw one new photo of Prince George over the weekend and everyone went nuts for it. So Absolutely. <laughs> that's all it takes. He's yeah. 15 years old now. Yeah, look at he him. looks very old. 10 years old, July so 22. That was his 10th birthday. And uh, look, that f uh, photo was taken by Millie Pil Pilkington. She took a photo of Prince Louis for his birthday back in April. She also took the Father's Day portrait. But it's been a busy time for George. He was at Wimbledon recently. He was at the Ashes. He was at an air show. He's growing up a lot. And it's really nice to see him sort of growing up. Up. The little differences to his childhood compared to Prince William's and mm. also King Charles. So it's nice to see that journey. Yeah, and speaking of Charles, he's going to continue a tradition uh, that's been long standing? Yes, so in the next few weeks, uh, the King and Queen Camilla will be travelling to Scotland for their annual uh, holiday at Balmoral Castle. Now, uh, Balmoral has been a favourite holiday place for the royal family since the days of Queen Victoria. So King Charles will be following royal tradition. He'll be staying first at the Castle of May, which was the Queen Mother's old home, then he'll be staying at Burke Hall, then he'll be moving to the main castle, Balmoral. But it's going to be a little bit bittersweet for the King because he'll be there to mark the one-year anniversary, anniversary of his accession. It's going to be September 8 when the Queen passed away last year, so the King will be at Balmoral for that. So, uh, you know, certainly you know, a nice holiday for the King, but also that sad memory of what the royal family yeah. was going through at this time last year. A lot to reflect on, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Um, where are Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are still in <laughs> the US. Look, they've certainly quietened down a lot. Oh, really quiet. They have. And I think it's been, you know, they've done a few bad steps PR-wise, so mm. they've sort of had a little bit of a break. But there's been suggestions, will they actually be invited to Balmoral Castle Oof. for the King's Summer? They've only been there once Right, so it's highly unlikely, I would say. I think okay. if Harry and Meghan were given an invitation to Balmoral Castle, that would be a very big thing for the royal family, but I can't see it happening, unfortunately. I think the laying low scenario seems to be working for them at the it's moment. Not, it's so quiet. Maybe. Is it quiet? It's very quiet. Look, at, at the moment, it is technically known as the silly season because the royal family do go on holidays, mm. so there's a lot of made-up stories just to fill right. pages. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you have to sort of uh, be careful what you read, I think. Gotcha. <laughs> made-up stories. I look forward to those. Read with caution. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Nice, Matt. Thanks. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?